Hi guys, I have done an analysis of the previous four question papers of CA Intermediate Cost and Management Accounting. Uh, the two questions have been segrega uh, segregated as practical and theory questions guys topic wise the weightage prescribed by ICAI is also mentioned in the given document now this will help you in identifying the areas where you should be concentrating more we know that the question paper is segregated into six questions of 20 marks each the first question is compulsory question which will consist of four questions of five marks each from the remaining five questions question two to question six you're supposed to answer any four questions do not forget question number six is a pure theory question now even the uh, questions coming as a part of the compulsory question guys have been mentioned in this document this document is available for download uh, the link for the same has been provided as a part of the description of this video the uh, ICAI guys divides the entire syllabus into four major parts for the purpose of weightage in the examination. The first part guys here is your overview of cost and management accounting. This first part is uh, will fetch a bare minimum of 15 marks in the examination. This has only two concepts, two uh, topics under this guys. There is introduction to cost and management accounting and then there is cost sheet. In all the previous four question papers, cost sheet has been coming for 10 marks. There has been a practical question coming from cost sheet for 10 marks and bare minimum one theory question guys from introduction to cost and management accounting so because there are only two topics guys uh, we can be rest assured that you will always see a question from cost and management accounting and you'll also see one practical question from cost sheet guys in every attempt in every paper guys uh, the second uh, subdivision guys or the second part of the weightage here is your ascertainment of cost and cost accounting system now this second part guys will fetch 45 marks in the examination but then it also has a lot of topics under this there is materials there is labor and direct expenses overheads activity based costing guys as well as your cost accounting systems now in every attempt in every attempt as such guys you've seen a question for 10 marks from activity based costing in the previous four attempts uh, so yes you should be marking this as very very important material again better has been asked for an average of 10 marks in the previous attempts the remaining question guys can come from material can come from labor overheads or cost accounting system normally guys there'll be one question for sure from each topic one question for sure from each topic normally guys though there was only one attempt guys in which one topic was skipped otherwise better you will normally see one question coming from each topic the third division as such better here is your costing methods now this costing methods better would fetch you around 30 to 35 marks in the examination you know better that under this you'll have job costing batch costing process costing operating costing contract costing joint products by product service sector costing the most important topics under this better is service sector costing which has been constantly coming for 10 marks in every paper in every attempt guys apart from that process costing beta is the next most important topic baki pure methods of costing beta are also important remember they're all smaller topics as such guys but then process costing has a higher chance of coming in the examination service sector costing has been coming in every attempt the last heading beta in our syllabus is cost control and analysis cost control and analysis comprises of standard costing marginal costing and budgetary control now undoubtedly marginal costing is the most important of all guys among these three topics marginal costing would on an average fetch 15 marks in the examination 10 marks for sure guys but normally 15 marks in the examination the other question can be from standard costing or it can be from budgetary control also now uh, do not forget beta it is not like they will ask standard costing plus marginal costing as a part of only one question so please do not be of the opinion that you can leave entire standard marginal and budgetary control and you will still be able to attempt the paper no I am not telling you that as such guys because uh, marginal costing has been uh, has been coming as a part of compulsory question also either marginal costing or standard costing beta comes as a part of compulsory question usually either material or labor comes as a part of compulsory question one from methods of costing will come in the compulsory question they're designing the question paper in an amazing way guys that they pick up one one question from each of these broad heads also guys uh, as a part of your compulsory question so guys uh, summarizing beta uh, for theory topics you are supposed to concentrate you are supposed to concentrate the most better on introduction to cost and management accounting cha materials chapter guys and budgeting chapter materials chapter guys and budgeting chapter this is very very important for theory i'm not telling you that other topics will not be asked they can be theory questions from other topics also but then those are relatively easier topics directly related better to your concepts okay for practical topics as such guys the very uh, the most important topics which for sure will come in the examination as such better is cost sheet activity based costing materials chapter service sector costing and marginal costing of course better you can download the link the download the document as such guys from the link that has been provided in the video and refer to that document in a detailed manner guys bye bye guys see you